Okay, there we go. A little bit late, but happy to see everybody here. Do, 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 do. Looks like a rhino, Matt Perkins. That's the first time I've heard that, but yeah, I think it kind of does. Let's see. Choco Man. Uh, Rumple. Neo Noom. I don't think I've seen you here before. Perkins is here. Oleg is here. Dead is here. Uh, Nicholas Villanueva is here. One of my favorite names to say. We got Fusion Flare, Maximum Fish. Matthias Mora is here for the hello. Philip Schwartz, Warner Ashby, Energy. Creative. Can I play please is present. Erio Quattro is present too. Let's do this thing. Okay, so I do need a little bit of time where in to grab these replays and put them into the folder because I had a lot of late submissions like ah yes everybody says it's Sunday it's time to send Falcon replays to cast and it's like Aah. it's kind of last minute but I will we'll do it we'll do it anyway for the 29th of March oh hold on I had one that I need to cast it's this one Hasu Hasu Muta let's see Squeeze sent me one Let's see, uh, RJB sent me one. Did he send me two? Sent me two, interesting. Let's do that. This is a common Protoss versus Terran strategy on fastest map. We've got somebody named Chris who sent me a replay. We've got Oleg who sent me a couple as he always does and they're fun. Da, 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 da. This dude who sent me a StarCraft 2 one, like, replay like a hundred times somehow. I'm not sure if it's a glitch or he's just being annoying. Han has a replay for us, too. Excellent. What else do we have? Charles has a Helm's Deep. Oh! I haven't even cast a Helm's Deep in a while. I should cast a Helm's Deep. That's a good idea. We always play one, or we have recently anyway. My goodness. We have a lot of replays, you guys. I might have to start screening these. This is getting too much. <laughs> this is like, uh, maybe not too much. I like getting these replays. I appreciate you sending them to me, but I don't have the time to cast every single one of these at this point. So we're gonna have to find a way to make this a little bit easier on everybody's life here. Million dollar Dalla Dave Dampier is here. Yeah, it's too late now, Jared. If I've started the stream, it is too late. Send it to me though, and I'll get it into next week's folder. Maximum fish making some waffles. I'm making. I'm making waffles. What's up, Looney 007 from Zagreb? Mr. Bagatica. Terry the Fifth is present. Fever likes my beard. Matthews is here. Lachlan Short present. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of into Black Sabbath. Villanueva. Not one of my favorite things. Classic Rock is cool. It is definitely cool. Alright, so now that we've gotten the hellos out of the way, let's go ahead and toss it on down to viewer submitted. Subscriber. Nope. Hold on. March 2020. The 31st, I mean the 29th, whatever day it is, brain is problematic. Falcon Poopadin. <laughs> sure, we can roll with that. Uh, what do we want to do first of all here? I kind of want to do Hasu's because he's not here. Should I do that to him? He's there with I am Hitler and Mutalisk doesn't in a 3v3. You want a 1v1 first? Alright, we have a request for a 1v1. That looks like a fastest map. Do you want a regular? Oh, this is a... Holy smokes. 42 minutes? Uh, fast. Do we have any, like, regular 1v1s that are not on fastest? I don't think we do. I think all of these, most of these are teams. And the ones that are, the only one that's a regular here is 42 minutes long. Uh, 
97 minutes. No, oh, please don't do that to me, RJB. Maybe like for a regular cast, but not for stream. Bad times. Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, like... Nice PvP. All right, we'll do nice PvP from Creative here. How about that? He's here. He has a suggestion for a short game. We're going to do it. We're definitely going to speed it up, though. If just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, like a... I see what you're saying, Katie. That could be fun. All right, so left side here we have the... It's kind of a purplish Protoss player, Pro One. And then his enemy over here is the Red Terran, the player Creative from the Red. It's true, subscribing is free on YouTube, Mr. Iyer Productions. Hey, what up, Super Drunk? Super Drunk is super drunk. All right, so what's the PvP fastest setup here? I don't think I've cast a game on this map. It's fastest, but the minerals are down the sides. And you have gas top bottom. That's really interesting, actually. Yeah, and you can hit that like button, too, for free. There's a lot of free stuff you can do to make things awesome on the channel. And help to grow it. It's not a fastest map. You're right. It's not a fastest map. These are regular mineral fields, but it's got two gas and a bunch of... It's almost... Like a big game hunters kind of a thing here. The income is going to be great, but maybe not not as great as like a fastest map. Hey, Stanislaw, what's up? Live stream, woohoo! Stanislaw is here. So are both players going to go for dragoon openings? It kind of feels like it. I would argue that Creative is ahead, just because he's already got a second gateway on the way. A little bit ahead. Plus, he already has a Dragoon over, or a Zealot over here, trying to get some stuff done. Ends up with a couple kills. Maybe three? Ah, okay. Two kills. Not bad. Good harassment there, for sure. Probe just trying to see what else is going to come his way, and the answer is a Dragoon. There is an official Discord. How do you not know about the Discord? I've had the Discord for, like, two years. Hold on. Bonk. There. Join the Discord server. Come hang out. If you want to get my attention, the Discord is probably one of the best ways to do it at this point in time. Oh, nice. Pro One is an amateur Korean player from the Korean clan White. Very cool. So, Dragoon's out from both players. Uh, we're looking at a 28 to 28 supply count, extremely even that way. Templar Archives coming in now from Pro One. Robotics facility, tech of choice from Creative instead. I feel Reaver drops. I'm feeling them really strong right now. Dragoon push here. 44 to 38 supply. Creative has a nice lead right now. I'm going to say, ah, it's DTs. I thought it might be Storm Drops, but it is Dark Templar. Did you skip detection? That'd be the question. Observatory now on the way. Where are these guys going? Oh, they're trying to take a roundabout path to be sneaky. Got ourselves a stasis cell in the middle of this map just to block off an easy expansion. So yeah, Observers coming out now. Yep, Observers coming out now. I have not watched Tiger King. I don't, I don't know. From how it's been described to me, it's a giant train wreck, which I'm not super interested in getting into. I don't, I have other stuff to watch that's better. I've never been someone to watch reality TV at all. And especially if it's just like, look how much these people suck. I just don't, I don't know. I'm not entertained by that. Reaver and Dragoon getting some stuff done here. Oh, that Reaver died from bro. 
Uh, Pro's just dead at this point. He is down to six probes. It is a... I mean, these DTs are getting stuff done, sort of. But Dragoons are coming out, and there's detection, so... Eh. Yeah, I mean, Kratom lost a bunch of probes to the DTs here, too. 12 kills and 12 kills each. And you know what? They're still doing work right now. Defensive DTs out right now for Pro. I like this a lot, but... Is there enough DPS on these Dragoons to take down that main Nexus? That'd be a huge victory for him, and yes... Creative does get the Nexus there. These DTs could go after some more of these probes if they wanted. Creative not actually putting his probe to work right now, which is a problem. Uh, you need to actually micro against these guys if you're going to kill them, because they hit hard. Yeah, Dragoon down. Focus, the wounded one. Hey, what's up, Rua Whitepaw? Welcome to the stream. Why Paul watched some of the Wilkins coffee commercials the other day? Okay, so there's no, no income at all here for Pro. I guess he does have this Nexus up here. Never mind. He's okay. Doing all right, possibly. We're going to try to reaver this DT down. Get it. Get that. Oh, you're going the wrong way. This is a tight, tight game right now. Five to eight total probes. Deep T's are still murdering Creative's probe line. He's down to zero probes. Zero probes. Reaver, super duper helpful. Already has seven kills today. Can he save his Nexus? Save the Nexus! No! They don't save the Nexus! Oh no, is Creative gonna lose this game? He was so close to being able to save the Nexus. Just bring the Reaver back. Have him take a couple shots. But now, look. Pro's got a Nexus down in the bottom right. Top left belongs to Pro here, too. It's 8 to 0 probes. Creative doesn't have the money to rebuild his Nexus, either. Uh, Creative is in a terrible, terrible position right now. So, the good news for him is he has some Dragoons. And he has a Reaver inside a shuttle. Which is awesome. And detection, I'd assume. Yep. Get him! Chase him down! Come on, 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 come on. Chase him down. Get him. That guy's got four kills. Not bad. He's in hold position, which he shouldn't be, but he dead. Alright, so that DT is taken care of. The longer you wait here, Creative, the worse it's going to be for you. You, re This is what you have. You need to go, and you need to go now. <laughs> Let the filer cast Plague. Yeah, we got to get that guy. <laughs> yes, Warner Ashby, exactly. All right. Reaver up. Dragoon here. Gonna shuttle his guys on into this main base. Go after these production facilities. Oh no, don't. He's gonna jump. Gonna jump on the Reaver. Pick it up. Save it. Save the Reaver. Ugh. He saved it. Ugh. The micro. The micro is good. Ugh. He wants to shoot. He's trying to, but the Reaver's not shooting. But it doesn't matter. The Dragoons are winning this fight anyway. Oh, that was close. That was really close. That's true. No money. For, well, he's money for a couple scarabs here. But he's still got four remaining. Oh, the Reaver! Oh, 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 oh. The pickup. The pickup. He needs to save the scarabs for uh, for units, though. Holy crap, did he do it? Creative. What a win. I mean, it's not over over, but it, it's like no army supply at all for Pro right now. He does have this base. He does have so much more income. So much more income. Uh, all right, so if the probes lead these units to where the base is, that'd be really dumb. I, what they need to do, I think, is lead them away. And then just use the income to build additional Dragoons here. He's getting gas right now, which is nice. And, I mean, that Nexus is down, but guess what? There's a third Nexus. Get 
Does anybody here want to be a Brood War uh, screener for these Sunday streams? Uh, it's a Logitech webcam that I've had for probably 15 years now. It's old. Yeah, going after the pylons to depower the gateways is really important stuff right now because they're building... They're trying to build more. Does he get it out? He barely gets a DT out. Barely gets it out. But detection exists. The DT can't go anywhere. And the Dragoons have range. Did those pro... Oh, I think the probes did go down here and actually lead the Reaver away from secret base. But the problem is production's in trouble here. Uh, being a screener means that I send you the replays that are sent to me for the Brood War stream every week, and then you say which ones are your favorite, and then I cast those. And maybe I have, you know, two or three people doing it rather than just one, for fairness. Because I don't know that people are sending me bad replays. I'm not saying that's happening, but I just don't have the time to cast, like, 15 replays in this two to three hour stream without going crazy on the up on the speed but uh going too fast it kind of ruins the atmosphere of the games i don't like that either so if you want to do it send me an email to falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of brood war screener and i'll get you on a list and i'll send you the stuff how's that sound yeah um, yeah some kind of a time limit would be good pros out the reaver shows up and he taps 13 kill reaver what a hero what a hero! Nicely done. Victory to creative. He's our guy. That was amazing. I don't I mean it's it's really hard to win a game when you have zero probes. And zero nexuses and zero money to build anything anyway. That was fantastic. Look at how many more resources Pro had and he still lost the game. Produced more units, but lost more units. Reaver paid for itself there for sure. Nicely done, creative. Good victory. Ten points to creative for that one. All right. Do, 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 do. Biolab. In a 1v1, Terran versus Zerg. Okay, let's do this, because we didn't have any Terran or Zerg in the last game. I'm not sure that Biolab is here. Yeah, nice job, creative. I'm not sure that PLAB is here, unfortunately, but he'll probably catch the VOD. And we'll be able to, uh, he'll be able to be happy at that point. So, top left hand corner is the orange Terran, the player Terra Power 2K. And in the bottom right, we have Fire from the TX Clan. I always think it's Texas Fire. PLAB! Yeah, that's how you spell it. Good call, RJB. So yeah, hit that like button if you're enjoying the stream here. It just gives me more visibility out there on the YouTubes. The algorithm likes it for sure. I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy with the COVID-19 virus floating around. I had somebody out on Twitch earlier today when I was doing a Warcraft 3 campaign playthrough, which you should head out there. Come. Come to twitch.tv slash Falcon Paladin for awesome StarCraft and Warcraft 3 stuff. But uh, he said that he was diagnosed with COVID-19. And he's a younger kid. So it's not like he's at a risk for dying or, or anything. But it kind of hits close to home. When people you know actually get it, that's when it gets a little bit uh, a little bit more interesting. All right. So Marine's opening here from Terra Pawa 2K. Call him Terra. He is scouting pretty hard trying to find out where the Zerg player is. He's got safety sunkens coming up, which I'm a huge, huge fan of. Really, otherwise, just mostly uh, droning here. He's got a couple lings trying to find where stuff is. Has Terra still not discovered where the Zerg player is? Yeah, definitely not fun to be sick, White Paw. Uh, yeah, doing great, Villain Wave. I've been working from home for the last couple weeks now, and my kids are home from school too, so basically we're doing some online learning that the school has set up. Uh, I just VPN to the office and connect to my work computer there and do work that way. 
I work for a software development company, so it's very easy, r relatively easy for us to get work done without actually going into the office at all. Uh, hey, nice. Thank you for the super chat, Matt Perkins. And here come the Marines, but they are in range of the Sunkins. I think they tried to focus down some of these drones, and they might have got a couple of them, but lost the entire army in the process. Uh, yeah, Choco Man, AMA about the coronavirus. That'd be cool. You probably won't cast the games that you couldn't cast last week today because of the amount of this week's replays. Yeah, uh, I am going to cast a Hasu Turtle one that he sent me last week that I didn't cast last week that he personally bothered me about. So that's a trick. If I don't cast your replay in one of these, if you personally bother me about it, there's a decent chance I'll get to it the next week. <laughs> hey, Wraith is here. All right, we're going to get to it, friendo. We're going to get there, I promise. Personally harass me. Exactly, Wraith. That is the key. That's how people... That's how this works. Uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. There was a thing I was going to do here. I don't remember what it was. Twitch. Blah, blah, blah. Starcraft. Blah, blah, blah. Remastered. Oh, I have a new member. Uh, Paulo became a new member about an hour ago. He did it when I was off stream, though. So I didn't personally think him when he did it, but I'm personally thinking him now if he's watching this. Mutalisks out. And the situation in Utah is fine. And we have kind of an unofficial stay-at-home order from the governor, but he's sort of letting the mayors from the different cities determine what they want to do. So basically, I don't go out unless it's to get food at a drive-thru. Yeah, Ling Muta, not bad. There are not enough Marines to really be a problem here. Uh, Marines coming in from Terra Power. Do not support that action either. That's really bad news from him. What up, Frosty Eskimo? Have I met Mr. Paladin? No, I don't think so. Who's Mr. Paladin? Is that me? See, yeah, things are fine for me. My job seems secure. I know other people that have been laid off, and that totally sucks. I'd like to see this end soon, just for those people especially. Oh, Mr. Paladin plays Team Fortress 2. I don't have much interaction with Team Fortress 2 at all. Or Team Fortress 1, actually. Ling's jumping on this. Are, we have, there are units in this bunker. And they're doing pretty well. Tank taking care of the Lings fairly effectively. The Muta's taking some serious hits. Reinforcements coming in. And the Muta's and Lings have to get out of there. We're going to turn down the in-game sounds. I can do that. Thank you. Let me know if there's a... Uh, let me know if there's some sound balance issues you're finding, and I can fix those on the fly here. What's up, Matthias Albert? What's up, Super Dave? Super Dave keeps threatening to kill me with drones. Like, we're going to 1v1, and he's going to drone rush me and win, which, I don't know. I've lost to that before. That's totally a thing. I'm not convinced that the Terran player needs Goliaths. The Marines are good enough against this Muta stuff. Pablo Maranon Fernandez. I like saying Spanish names, Spanish language names. They're my favorite. Ah, Mass SCVs from Super Dave. Okay. Fair enough then. So we're at 72 to 68 supply. Mr. Fire here has a lead. It's a bit of a lead. It's not a massive lead or anything, but he's going for these Mutalisks. Some Valkyries would not be a bad idea either. He's making race, which I do not approve of. The Muta's trying to figure out what to do, but there is a nice, a really nice ring of turrets around that uh, mineral patch. Nicely done there by Terra. Uh, Dampier, I do not pre-record my intro. That is live every time. You can actually deny this upgrade if he focuses on it. There you go. Denies the upgrade. Zero, zero Marines here. He's going Goliath with Charon boosters, though. So he's been listening to chat. But seriously, Valkyries, though. Valkyries are so good against Mutas. Valkyries were personally introduced... Two Brood War because of Mutalisks.
Got upgrades on the way. It really looks like... Oh, never mind. Hydras are out. There is a Hydralisk then. Oh, up here. I see. So Lurker Tech Switch would be pretty nice here. I like it. <laughs> I did a face reveal. Click to see video. That's your YouTube name? That's amazing. Hello to you. Hello to Avi Verde. Lockyetus is present. So Caron Boosters coming in. We are making some Lurkers, obviously. I don't know. There are enough tanks that Lurkers, I don't know how much are going to be a problem. Hey, Dampier, that's great. I'm glad to hear that I am the only English Brood War commentator that you watch. I'm very proud of that. What up, Keith Wagner? Yeah, how's everybody's quarantine working out for him? Everybody uh, going a little stir-crazy? or I am, honestly, I realized I'm a huge introvert, at least as far as going out goes. This whole being kind of stuck at home thing hasn't really changed my routine at all. I do casting, I do streaming, I hang out with the kids, and I do work. That's my day, and it's fine. Like, I'm not somebody who goes out to clubs or visits friends and family a whole lot. But I don't, does it count as an introvert if you're live streaming like four times a week? I don't know any introverts that do that. It's weird. Muta's trying to see if there are any sneaky bases or proxy things he needs to worry about. There's not. Oh, this is, br this is brutal. And everybody's dead. Matt Perkins, a Falcon Paladin, Paladin hoodie giveaway. So we haven't really come out to an understanding of how we're going to do that, Somicron and I, Mr. Perkins. I really should, though. I don't know how... Hmm, how do we want to? to figure out some kind of a rule here. I might do it to pump up the Twitch numbers. Like, people that follow me on Twitch get entered into a drawing for a hoodie. That'd be pretty cool. I saw your chat, I think. We'll probably play some big game hunters because I'm going to be casting a Helm's Deep here in a minute. The trick about Helm's Deep is, based on the length of the replay, you can kind of tell who won. Because there is a timer to win for the good guys. Put these to work. These drones need to go to work. Come on, PO Lab, we got this. Yeah, what is your main face reveal? Have you read my thought that I commented to last stream? I don't know what that is, Oleg. On Twitch? About a Phantom game. Uh, about how it's not fair that I'm never the Phantom? I don't remember what your comment was, to be honest. Honestly, if you're going to type out a question of, hey, remember what I said last time? Like, I'm not going to remember. Just type out your question again. Ah, Raged Beast's Army, or RBA. Ultralisk Cavern up, loving that action. Loving getting Anabolic Synthesis here. Zerg player just doing a lot of stuff. Lurkers, Mutalisks, Lings, Hydras, Ultras. Kind of like it, just kind of macroing a lot here. That said, we're pretty even on everything. 156 to 161 supply. Yeah, Brood War is still a thing. And it's a good thing, too. It is the first truly great real-time strategy game ever. It holds up. It's still super fun to play. The campaigns are tons of fun. I played through the campaign on the Carbot skin and on the Remastered skin over the last couple of years. And it's been just so entertaining. And you're a YouTuber. You know, everyone starts somewhere. You can't start out with, you know, 100,000 subs. You got to work on it. I do not have 100,000 subs. 
Ah, you grow up in Seoul. That's very cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing, man. That's why esports came about. Is Blizzard, a company in California, made a game. And then suddenly it turned into a massive sport in Korea. It turned competitive. And that's the birth of modern esports. Dude, seriously, though. You know these lurkers are here. What is... Why would you do this? Oh, I like how he reburrowed three inches away and then he's going to die here anyway. Go. Muto's trying to get on top of these tanks. They got Ultras out. We have Zerglings out. The tank count still pretty scary back here, but this is a very, very nice swarm for sure. That feels like a thumbnail to me. We'll have to see. Sub Falcon Paladin for President 2020. Yes, we've seen Dukes on this map, Villanueva. Nice, 250 subs is a great milestone to hit. <laughs> I got an ooh out of Ruludos. Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> That's the funniest super chat I've ever gotten. That's pretty good. <laughs> Maximum fish is struggling. Yeah, understandable. Wilkins coffee. Want to try some Wilkin coffee? No, I don't. Not, I never drink the stuff. Shot to the face. Shotgun right between the eyes. Hey, attack! Attack on TNT Titans. That's a good name. What up? Welcome to the live stream. Glad you could make it. We do have some Valkyries out from the Terran player. That's good stuff. John Ree says this is his favorite game. It, you know what, man? Brood War is a great game. Guardians aren't used by Zerg because they're slow and they die to everything. Literally everything that can touch them kills them. Ah, just running into this meat grinder. The Dark Swarm is up, though. That's going to help a little bit. The tank count isn't quite high enough, I don't think, to where this is going to end poorly for the Zerg player. Continue to attack on in. These tanks are outside of the Dark Swarm. And I think this is going to work out. You can't attack. These Hydras are invulnerable to all of your attacks from the Marines. Uh, the Dark Swarm is wearing off. Do you have any more Dark Swarms available? Uh, it doesn't look like you do. Alright, well. I mean, you'd think that was really bad for the Terran player, but... Well, you know what? These reinforcements are pretty good. Got some defensive irradiates here on the Ultra List, but it just means they do more damage to your medics and your marines as they pop out of these barracks, though. Oh, this might be the end. This looks like the end. The Lings have adrenal glands. They've got to, too. Ah, I see your Tennessee Titans uh, logo now. Lings are up on the SCVs. They don't do splash damage, which they do in StarCraft 2, which makes them pretty good. Main command center goes down. Secondary CC is up. SCV count is falling, plummeting. These ultras not actually accomplishing anything right now. And uh, did you just... I think you might have actually just done the boxer maneuver on these SCVs. But I missed it. But it's over. It doesn't matter anyway. Terra Power 2K is out. And our local hero, Fire, is victorious. Doo -doo. They're vibing. I guess. That makes sense. 
yeah, income was just way ahead for the Zerg player the whole time. It ends up producing 400 units to 300 units. Loses fewer than the Terran player does. That's it. Say Hasu Turtle, that's not nice. Is that what you want me to say? Does that count? What I just did there? All right, fine. It is time. It is time for the one that I have been bothered about endlessly for the last week. By Wraith Tier. Let's do it. We're on Big Game Hunters. All right, so team one is Hasu Turtle. You may have heard of him. We've got I Am Hitler top right, and we have Mutalisk's Dozen to the bottom right here. Playing Protoss this time. The bottom right hand, it is King Weed. We've got uh, Mio. And you lose. I'm gonna red versus blue this sucker. Just because the colors are the colors. And Hasu Turtle's raging again, as he usually does in these games. He is our friendly neighborhood rager. Do a dab. Um, you know what? That's not worth it. I'm not doing a dab. I don't know why you'd build a barracks in full view of the Zerg player. Like, maybe build it down here if you're trying to be sneaky with it. That's really not nice, Hasu Turtle. I'm going to rage at those laggers, though. <laughs> Lings are out from Senor Hitler. Ruludos, no. I don't... Oh, boy. How, how do I explain this? Thanks for the super chat. Zealot's hanging on here. This King Weed is trying to stay alive. Lings are being extremely annoying. Yeah, trying to focus some of these probes down, but the cell account is getting pretty high. Oleg doesn't even know what, the, what a dab is. What a blessed existence he leads. <laughs> uh, the Rulidos cosplay, though. Oh, man. I've not done a dab. True facts. Uh-oh, this is not good. This is actually a really bad for Mr. Hitler. Like, really bad for Hitler. His lings were down there trying to kill King Weed. And he's going to lose a spawning pool. He's getting attacked by two separate players. You lose in here, too. Zealots coming up to a sit. Like, okay, he's dead, though. Like, maybe you don't have to send Zealots up here this way. And Hitler is eliminated and tosses down. <sighs> A racial slur in my chat. Come on, man. We're better than this. Are we better than this as human beings? Hitler should have been Terran so he could hide in a bunker. <laughs> All right. Hasu's like, I'm not going to help that guy. He sucks. Marine's pushing in. Uh, he's going the Wraith strategy, which... Oh, come on. You got this. Kill that supply depot. Hey, but those wraiths, though. Ooh, taking some hits. They are very flimsy. Tank out. Marines, focus down that tank. This is really, really bad for Hasu right now. Like, really, really bad. That tank. Oh, the SCVs are fighting for their own lives right now. Hey, an alternative. What's up? Tank goes down, but defensive zealots here from Mutalisk Dozen to save the day. And Hasu Turtle isn't dead yet, although a bunch of zealots are here from Team Blue to ruin him. Wraiths are kind of wrecking the economy of you lose over here. I'm not sure that he's aware of that's happening. Bra, bra, bra. 
I'm pretty sure these dudes only play uh, big game hunters. Yeah, super drunk. Hasu's a lot quieter when he's almost dead. He's down to uh, 14 SCVs, which is not a great place to be. You lose is, however, personally down to 8, which is bad. Ooh, Marine Medic coming in. There is a tank here, though, so I don't... Really? You're going to go in here? Bad life choice. Really bad life choice. He's trying to kill that tank, but I don't think he's going to get it. No, he does not. Play Golem Madness. What is Golem Madness? Yeah, that was a poor, poor, poor life choice here from Mio. Don't do that. Don't attack into tanks with Marine Medics, especially if they're Zealot support and some Vultures. Yay, somebody wants to be a screener. Thank you, Squee. Here's the trick, Wraith. I don't think I've ever dabbed in my entire life. I don't think I would even know how. I know what it looks like. Because I have kids, and by golly, they love it. We actually had to institute a no dabbing at the dinner table policy because uh, one time one of my kids dabbed and knocked over their milk, and it went everywhere, and, you know, kids... All right, uh, King Weed's having a real bad day. Just lost his entire nexus here. Teammates are kind of, sort of, trying to help here. Spider Mine's getting tossed all over the place by Hasu. That position of a cannon is actually pretty nice. I like it back there. Craft dinner. Craft dinner's gonna die anyway, man. You never send me replays where he wins. Hey, Yoga Grouch. Good luck beating the Rona. Meanwhile, Wraith attacks. Not as good when there's Marines out. I don't usually see Wraith attacks in a TBT for that reason. I have a bad experience with dabbing, yes. Rulidos. I don't know, man. I could knock over my can of Coke Zero. That would be messy. I don't want to do that. YouTube doesn't consider 720 HD. That's hilarious. It is still technically HD. Yeah, everybody drink your water. Practice social distancing. The Yoga Grouch says so. Exactly, Matt Perkins. Exactamundo. little defensive storm here. Aggressive storm here, rather. If I host, I'll send you replays right now. What, what, what are you talking about hosting? I can't host. There's nothing to host. I mean, I broadcast, or I record in 1060 anyway. I don't do it in 720. Mio barely manages to hold on here. He still has uh, some tanks out front, but he should be able to deal with those no problem, especially once they own Siege. What's up, Squeal of Fortune? Yeah, 1080. Did I say 1060? I did say 1060. What's 1060? Is 1060 a thing at all? Anyway. Uh, Hasu's in another bad way here, although some Zealots are coming to save his butt. Yeah, he'd be in a lot of trouble except for these zealots with speed that are here to murder these Hydralisks. <laughs> Hydra's being super duper annoying. Is 1060 like a skateboarding trick? I want to 
say tense. There's a 1060 skateboarding trick. Snowboarding! Yeah! That's what it is, Matt Perkins. There's a 1060 GPU. Okay, okay. See, there's 1060 stuff out there. I didn't just make it up out of nowhere. King Weed says they scanned me. <laughs> Push. Oh, I don't know that uh, you lose has anything here to stay alive. Uh, not happening. Nope. Ling Hydra versus this particular composition. There are, there's a sunken here to help, but he's gonna get supply blocked. Come assist. You guys, you gotta help your teammates. That's how you that's how Hasu Turtle's alive, is because he's been assisted by Mutalisk Dozen. I mean, some Dragoons and Zelts are coming in. They're sniping off some of the High Templar, which is pretty good actually. Killing High Templar is nice, but Zealots are in the mineral line here for you lose. That's bad news, bears. The sound of drones dying is always a tragically, terribly sad sound. Nice. Way to get remastered, Dampier. Remastered is a ton of fun. I mean, there's this lie where they say it used to look like this, and it did not. Absolutely not. You go back and watch some of my old casts before Remastered came out. It is much smoother than whatever this garbage they're trying to pretend is. Like, come on. No. Nope. I mean, you lose is down to all of four drones, which is really bad. But King Weed's at 20 and Mio's at 38. Protoss coming in to try to take down King Weed, whose economy's back, but does he have enough army to withstand the combined forces of Hasu and Mutalisk Dozen? Mew needs to get involved in the fights. He really does. I think it's about zoom level. I don't think it's about zoom level. Like... No, it looked better. I checked this yesterday. I went back and I watched some of an old replay that I cast, like in 2017, and it looks better. It does. Video settings. SD graphics filter. Oh. It could be a fair game, Pierre. APM's not everything. Max it out. Uh, maybe. Still don't buy it. We just don't. How do I get this many subs? How old am I on YouTube? Uh, my channel's about five years old. My five-year mark was February 28th. So, Red just taking the middle here. Haas is up to 24 SCVs. All right, look, we're doing this. I'm annoyed. <laughs> Let me do a quick search for a replay here. Uh, all these are remastered. How do I find ones that are not remastered is a question. Oh, 
Who is somebody that I cast? In regular Brood War that I did not cast. Eh. Somebody do me a favor and find me a replay that I did. From years and years ago. Before the remastered came out. And then we'll pull it up on the stream and take a look at it. Pierre does not respect the red team at all. What's up, Bradley Dean? Ah, oh boy. Which Blizzard game has the best music? Uh, do I have to choose? Do I really have to choose? I really love the Warcraft 2 music. Like, a lot. I really love Warcraft or World of Warcraft music, too. But I really love StarCraft Brood War music, like this. Diablo 2 has great music. Ugh, so hard to say. Tanks defending here against these Dragoons, and... I kind of work out for him a little bit. It'd help if the tank had upgrades. Oh crap, there are Zealots remaining. And you lose. Hydras and drones are fighting. That Zealot has three kills, but he is not super long for this world. And he's finally out. Asu's going for another mech push here against the Zerg player. He only has a handful of Hydralisks. He has stayed alive in some big pushes recently. But this is just too much. Plus, they have the middle, so reinforcements coming here. Mio needs to assist. Ooh, maybe he is. Maybe he's sending some tanks in to help, but it might be too little, and it just might be too late. Vultures and Goliaths again. Tanks is an interesting play. Yay, Dampier is watching Day 9. So good. Day 9 is so great. Wraith's coming in from Hasu Turtle. That's how seriously he's taking this game. The tanks are all gone. And once again, Yulus has stayed alive a lot longer than he should have. All right. See a face reveal. Here's a sub for the dab you never did. <laughs> Thanks for subbing. So, Oleg, I saw your theory about just letting everybody macro up. And you know what? Okay, we'll do a phantom map today where we let everybody play. We don't try to kill the phantom early. And then once it's clear who they are, everybody just kills them. It sounds dangerous, though. I do love oatmeal raisin cookies. You lose once to OBS, but I feel like Hasu Turtle has no... Nothing in his heart to allow that. Nope. Team Red not going to allow that at all. No obs for you, says Hasu Turtle. Yeah, we played Phantom last week. What am I on to an alternative? I mean, that was Oleg's idea. Here's the problem. Both RJB and Can I Play Please are very capable of playing like they're the Phantom. If they're not. That's the problem with this. It's a good point, Oleg. I don't know. Yay, an alternative. Uh, I don't know if you can post links in here. Can you email it to me, an alternative? I'll pull it up on stream here in a minute. The storms of from Mutalisk Dozen are pretty good. 
Got defensive tanks and dragoons here against an onslaught of mostly Protoss here from Mutalisk, does it? Got Mio trying to help with his dropships of tanks, and it might actually it might actually work out for him. Tanks are up, not really in a position to really do anything right now, but that's okay. Uh, yes, like a baker's dozen. And King Weed holds on with his 27 probes. I really feel like Mio should be doing more stuff here. I guess he is, though, except for the mass race that are killing his tanks. So he kills Mutalisk's dozen main, but he has a natural base that he's holding on to. Plus he has this base, plus he's taking the top right base. So Mutalisk dozen kind of killing it here today. Trying to get rid of all these tanks in the middle here as well. Uh, this might be it for King Weed. All those tanks went away, and then the counter counter was pretty darn strong. So yeah, at this stage, I think once King Weed is done, we're done. Hey, Nate Dog, what's up, man? You have any Corona in Alaska? And King Weed has left the game. And Mio leaves out of solidarity. All right, look. We're doing a thing here. We are doing a thing. The alternative, did you? Yes, perfect. Okay, okay. So we have a Jadong versus Flash game that I cast before the remastered client came out. So we're gonna put it up over here. We're going to add a capture for A window? Is that what I want? Yeah, I think that'll work. Chrome. Jadon versus Pure. Yep, that's what we want. Done. <laughs> I don't think that's working though. Seen a Korean cast a TVZ before. I have. They're loud and they're crazy. Do we just browser source it? That might be interesting actually. Browser source. loud for some reason. Okay. Can I skip that or... Okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down. I can't click on it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> All right, one more try. We got this. We're going to do display capture. Okay, so that is, so this is what they're telling you it was.
and this is what it looked like. So let's do some comparisons here. Yeah, see, it's smoother. It's not nearly as like chunky chunk. How are we doing here? Caca, caca. This is lie. This look at that. Look how terrible that is. And this is definitely not remastered. But the lines are smoother overall. It's not like big chunky. It's like 16 bit there, right? You see what I'm seeing here? I see what I'm seeing here. How many views did this video get, by the way? 39,000. Not bad. Probably top 100. All right. I rest my case. That's all I wanted to do. This is a lie. up chill out welcome <laughs> yay an alternative agrees with me blah 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 did i give myself ad revenue by watching the ad uh maybe maybe i did all right good win my hasu turtle <laughs> Ends up 284 APM, ends up producing 190 units, kills 209 for the lead in the game there. Hitler died, so did most other people. Uh, Yeah, Mythbusters, Falcon Edition, exactly what I'm talking about here. You gotta bust those myths. It is time for a Helm's Deep. Well, let's do this thing. We don't want colors. All right, so we all know how Helm's Deeps work, or Helm's Deep works, right? So basically, we have a lot of bad orcs and stuff out here. They need to get through different levels of gates. Get through this gate, break this, and then they can tra teleport a couple times and get into these caves and then kill the humans, okay? These are the women. If they die, the bad, the bad guys win. So it's fairly tricky. You have unlimited resources as the uh, as the Zerg here basically see how they just continually respawn here and they took down the main gate that's pretty fast man that's a 139 main gate down and this gate down too yeah, with Saruman. The trick here is you go ahead and Dark Swarm up, you bring Saruman in, and you have him take down the Gate Hinge. He does the most damage of anybody to Gate Hinges. 400 damage per hit. It adds up over time. And then once these are down, these defenses become vulnerable, and this might just be a Raffle Stomping of the Zerg. You got your tanks up here to try to break out of this way. And it's definitely can be slow going get up here, but you can get up there for sure. I just realized, are the DTs permanently cloaked? Like, can, uh, are these invisible unless there's an observer for the Zerg or not? Aylmer taking some tank shots here. That's not very good. Uh, the DTs are not cloaked. Okay. Where is Gimli? That's an Axeman. That's your Gimli. He's getting surrounded a bit, but he's doing okay. He's got 51 kills. We 
We've got Legolas working together with Gimli here. Not too shabby. 44 kills on Legolas. 54 on Gimli. He's winning that battle of the day. Yeah, this feels sort of like guys know what they're doing. I like the flank attack, though. I like the idea of purple sending some units up this way and getting a flank on these dudes. That would be pretty effective. Uh, yeah. The wall missile... Oh, archer towers are detectors, too. We got Haldir in here trying to fight. There's really not many heroes over on this left side, but it's being held pretty well nevertheless. I guess Aragorn is showing up again. He's got 37 kills. Doing all right. Taking some tank fire, though. Still not quite up through here. We have Gambling, the old defending. We've got Eowyn in here defending as well. And Hama. Gimli's here with 66 kills. He's just trying to make sure that they can't break through this area and come and get that flank attack I was talked about earlier. I was talking about earlier. Uh, yeah, Lawrence, we have played this before. True facts. And this is just Zerg Bloodbath City right now. Yeah, that's the thing. Everybody either controls like a whole army and a hero unit or two, or they control just a hero unit. Like the person who's doing Aragorn here is only the hero. Up to 64 kills, not bad. After a certain number of kills, you get upgrade minerals you can use to upgrade your attack and your armor here. He's really going for armor, which I, I don't know, I think I'm okay with. Maybe I should do that if I'm Aragorn next time. Uh-oh, where'd Gimli go? Is Gimli alive? Did he come down here? Where'd Gim- er... Yeah, where's Gimli? Oh, here he is. I see him. 103 kills. Nicely done. Bra, 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 bra. So yeah, that's a... And they upgrade up here. So depending on who your hero is, one of these buildings will allow you to upgrade. If your hero can upgrade. Like, Gimli and Aragorn can upgrade, and Legolas, but for example, Gam or Gambling can, but Eowyn cannot. And I'm not sure if Hama can either. Hama can't either. No, 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 they don't have to walk up there. If you just click up here, upgrades will be available to you if you're that player. So, for as, I don't know, for as quickly as these hinges went down, I gotta say, the good guys are hanging on pretty well here. Like, they're doing okay. Did we just hallucinate Hama? That's weird. It's an interesting choice there. Oh, Gimli, be careful. Don't get surrounded. He's getting surrounded. But they're not killing him, actually. They're kind of letting him survive, which is very strange to me. Uh, I don't think you can lift those buildings. I'm pretty sure... Oh, it says don't lift. I assume if you lift them, you can't get upgrades anymore. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe they're letting Gimli just sit here. Why aren't they attacking him? It's like he's invisible for some reason. Uh, yes, Cade Mai, it is definitely that. Oh, this is a problem. This is a problem for left side, though. Once you start getting a flank up here, you gotta bring these uh, DTs down, man. You need them to stay alive. They allied him? Why, though? Like, a really upgraded Gimli is abjectly terrifying. That doesn't make any sense to me why you wouldn't want to kill Gimli. But alright, if it's a strategy, it's a strategy. Yeah, there go the elf spawns here.
I don't know. I still think killing Gimli early, if you can, is a great thing. Because look at this dude. He does, a hunt. he does 240 damage. So left side's toast. Time to move up the right side now. Uh, right side going a little bit okay. Still a bit of a humongous traffic jam here from purple. Hallucinating Theoden. Interesting choice. You really need to save the hallucinations for, like, ultralisks and stuff. I don't think it makes sense to do it that way. And Shag is here. He's in trouble, though. There you go. He's fine. These DTs, if they jumped on him, they could maybe take him down. Uh, he's trying to drag him over this way. But yeah, tanks up on this back gate hinge is exactly what you need. The DTs after the Ballistas here. They're going to get one or two of them down, which is nice. But not all of the tanks die. We still have a bunch here. Uh, That's not great, an alternative. I don't like that at all. Okay, so if you lose hallucination that way, great. But I don't think I've seen it used that way, Lexi Star. Seriously, though, 250 kill Gimli is pretty fantastic. And what are his upgrades? 150 plus 114 is nuts. <laughs> Did you spill your coffee while dabbing? <laughs> ah, back eight hinge continually being fired upon, and it's going to go down. Purple actually lost control of this high ground. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are they trying to trap Aragorn in there? Yeah, see, it just didn't work. The hallucinations just aren't really accomplishing a lot. Not a bad idea, no, no alternative. All right, so this hinge is toast. And now you guys can get through. Let's go. Archer tower. Dead. Another tower. Super dead. This is a good game. Thanks for sending it in. If you ally, the hiders don't stop to attack. Okay, that makes sense. I can see that. Huh. Oh, nice an alternative. A little bit of fame there for you. That's right, you are. See, if you come to my streams and you comment a lot, you can be a Battle.net celebrity too. I don't know, man. I can't tell who's going to win this game. Not many heroes have died, if any. Have any heroes died? I'm going to say that and then heroes are going to die, but... Hull deer, fighting hard. Take a tank fire. Get out of there, dude. You got minerals to fall back to if you need it. Whoa, 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 Legolas. Easy, fellow. And Dead's got some Smurf accounts that he rolls with. Uh, what up, Rosiel? Uh, the quarantine's treating me fine. I don't go out unless it's to get food from a drive-thru. So... Oh! Saruman died! And that's it? Wait, what? Why did it say that the humans won? Or lost? That was a weird message. Sar I don't know. This Saruman, other than taking down that hinge, I kind of think he sucked. 
honestly. Uh, oh, Rohan left. Okay. Oh, need my light back on. Yeah. I mean, so it was really fantastic that he took down this hinge as fast as he did, but it kept hallucinating stuff that just died instantly. Annoying. Uh, annoying. But hey, that's how it happens. If one of the dudes who uh, is controlling one of the Zerg Swarms goes down, you're pretty much over. So you gotta keep those dudes alive if you can. Yeah, RGB, I can do that. We'll hit an RJB cast. Those are always very good. Let's see, which one of these is the short one? <laughs> 13? Nope, that's the Helm's Deep that we just did. 9? Is that Mandingo? SCW112308. That's it. Let's go. Alright, so team one in the north here is Mandingo. Which reminds me of Hearthstone, Tazdingo. And then we have Al, or possibly AI. It's impossible to tell if that's a capital I or a lowercase L right there. Legolas snipes Saruman. Makes sense, man. The typical PvT that happens most of the time happens on stream yet. What's up, Silas Boyd? Welcome to the stream. So did you guys get the notifications that I was going live today? Because it seems like there are way more people here today than there were last week. And last week you said a bunch of you people didn't even get the notification at all. So it seems like it's working today. All right, good. You got spammed by YouTube. Mandingo is a famous porn star. <laughs> All right. Falcon working is real boring, Lawrence. What's up, Ellie? Yeah, having masks can't hurt. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But, like, I don't get within 100 feet of other people anyway, so it doesn't matter. Hey, Stefan. What's up, dude? Nick Baker's here. What up? Class ended early. You have class on Sunday? Why do you have class on Sunday? All right. So we got our zealots trying to put pressure up. But bunkers do exist. And you just kind of bypass the bunkers and go after SCVs that you can find. And this is really super annoying stuff for Mandingo. Living underwater. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's... This is really, really, really problematic right now for Mandingo. He's got a bunch of zealots just haphazardly running around in his base killing his stuff. What up, Austin Turley? And, all right, all right, all right. That was pretty good stuff from those Marines. But guess what's here? Cannons, pushing, creeping. I don't know why the Zealots aren't going for SCVs. It feels like going for the Marines is just, you're just going to die. Tragically. P.O. Lab! We cast your game, P.O. Lab. Sorry you missed it. I wasn't sure if you were coming or not, so I put it up already. Or cast it already. So be sure to watch the VOD so you can see yourself be cast again. Yay, Austin. I'm glad to hear you're just getting better. That's fantastic. Oh, you don't have the upgrade for the range on the Marines. Uh, get the upgrade. So you can be the same range as these cannons. Okay. Well, we do have a barrack expo down here for fire bats, says RJB. But these cannons... <gasps> hmm. Samuel Boyd is here. What up, Samuel Boyd? A range upgrade for Marines in StarCraft II would be super good. Absolutely. They still get outranged by bunkers? Or by cannons? 
Are you sure? I thought it was the other way around. Getting stim. I mean, it would make sense for him not to get ranged because he knows it doesn't help him. But yeah, he's absolutely going after these SCVs. It's 16 SCVs to 28 probes. Well, there we go. I was wrong. Getting ranged would not help. Guess who's sneaking over this way, though? It's Gimli! He gets 12 kills before he dies. That's pretty good stuff. One fire, Batman. One fire bat. Pretty good unit. Yeah, so cannons and zealots, man. This is how this works. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty all fired impressed by this. Both players are losing workers at a fairly alarming rate. Hey, there we go. There's our range. U-238 shells. Increasing marine attack range by one. Firebat sneaking up here to try to do something again. But there is a cannon to help this time. See where he is? Uh, he's just building a temple of archives. He's got a second nexus. He's tossing up a cannon here. Uh, I got some probes there. I don't know how many, but it's 20 to 18 now. There we This is what I'm talking about. This is what I wanted him to be doing, and he's doing it. He's just basically throwing away zealots to make sure the economy of the Terran player doesn't get very good. Ghosts have eight range in a bunker. They can counter carriers and reavers from there. Nice. Ghosts in bunkers. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, this cannon rush is real. You know how you deal with a cannon rush is you get a tank. There we go. Factory on the way, but I don't know. It seems late. Trying to push back the cannon rush with marines. Not going to work out. That is so many fire bats, though. I don't know, man. A player who's good at the game will keep that probe alive for a long time. Here we go. Two cannons versus three fire bats. 26 probes here from Al. And now he's down to 23. So we only lost three probes. Wasn't too bad. I think most of them are on the right side, which is smart. I like that idea. Need a light? There you go. And Mandingo taps out. Oh, a DT showed up. That's what the Templar Archives was for. DT shows up. He doesn't have a commsat station. He doesn't have an engineering bay. He was toast. Say sa. He is finished. There we go. Very nice game, RJB. Thanks for sending it in. Very well done by the Protoss player. You gotta love the Zealot Cannon pressure into Dark Templar. DT's doing that work. <laughs> Alright, well, where are we here? Uh, it's probably time for an Oleg replay. If I had to remember. I think it's AI... Fine. Sheesh. Uh, yeah, Nicholas, we can do a cartoon replay real fast. Totally fine. Yeah, a noob replay from Oleg. There we go. No Zergs, though. I want a Zerg. There we go. Zerg Terran Protoss. Fastest on space. Excellent. Roland! I'm glad you enjoyed the channel, Roland. Thanks for stopping by, saying hello. Is my camera that off? Come over this way, camera. Rah, rah, rah. You're a little bit unruly today. Alright, so team one here is the red Zerg player... Obzero. I'm gonna call him Obz. His teammate is Port 0517. And then Dark Kingdom down here is a Protoss. The other team, Noob86. 
We got KYK Mop. And then finally we have RidZZ Mini Image. That is so hard to say. I got nothing. I got nothing on that one. We're going to go for the traditional red versus blue. I hear ya, Bielas. Hey! Thank you to Jamaica CR. And glad you like the content. Guess who dies? Does a uh, noob die? He's playing Zerg today. Zerg dies. Zerg always dies in fastest. Zerg is rough, man. Hey, Iron Mike team, what up? Anybody cannon rushing? Not that I am aware of. Not that I can see. Do, do, do. <laughs> I've never had much trouble with this, to be honest. Cartooned is fun. I might do the whole stream next week in Cartooned. I did see that one, RJB. You want me to cast that today? Alright. Do it next week, maybe? I can do that. Don't cast it at all. How long is it? <laughs> Zergs always die. It's true. Poor underpowered Zerg. I can do it next week. I can handle a 33 minuter. I do like the cute little stars in the background. They're very happy. Hey, Antithesis. What's up? Uh, what I think I want to do today is a phantom mode. And we'll see after that. We'll see how we feel. Alright, sounds good, RJB. So, lo and behold, we're just going to kill the Zerg player because all he has is a sunken. It's a little late on those sunkens, guy. Yeah, that's new 86 here. He's got some... Okay, some lings out. No, 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 no. Engage with the sunkens. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. All right. That gives the Terran player the confidence he needs to wipe out these sunken colonies. Ah, if you'd attack with the lings while the sunkens were engaging, that would have been better. But uh, that seems a little bit toast. Zealot's coming up to deal with this weird setup that Obs is rolling with. They got some zealots to try to save Noob 86. Yay, lessons. Lessons are good to learn. Hey, and he's got Mutalisks. All right, that's pretty good. What's up, Starboy? Welcome to the stream. Did a drone escape? I mean, still got drones anyway. What's up, Luke Boyd? Uh, yeah, good help there. I liked it. And then just kind of sacrifice the zealots to nothing going back home. Got to take a different route here. Ton of hiders out in eight minutes. Here from Dark Kingdom. It's going to go try to kill someone who's got reavers. So I'm going to say good luck with that. Not bad, actually. Not too bad there. Focusing down those Reavers pretty darn effectively. A lot of cannons defending. A lot of Dragoons here. Defensive Hydras come in to really save the day there. Uh, Roland Dice don't really play ladder all that much, but I do main Zerg. I've main Zerg since 1998. Muta's trying to hold off an attack in the top right here. And yes, the support bay does have vacuum cleaners. It might be gone, though. Actually. Uh, yeah. Zerg player really having a bad time. That's a lot of hydralisks, man. Not nearly enough reavers. Storm is out, though, from blue. Loving that. Marine's still attacking on in here. 
You want to make some Lings and some Mutas to deal with this. Oh, this is such a big attack all of a sudden, though. Main Nexus getting focused down. Lurker coming in. Burrow the Lurker, like, right here. I was AFK for a bit. <laughs> and Dark Kingdom leaves the game. Okay, that's hilarious. Meanwhile, Noob's going to lose his top right base. Yeah, Warcraft 2 Remastered would be pretty cool. Roland, I'd support that. Why are you making drones, noob? What? 12 drones? Really? When there's marines in your base? I mean, you're kind of surrounded is the problem here. So Blue's kind of trying to come up and help a little bit, but they're getting distracted by these sunkins up here at the 12 o'clock. Uh... Yeah, Blues, they're all kind of teaming up right now. I love mashed potatoes. Matt Perkins, way better than scalloped potatoes. Scalloped potatoes are good. I'll eat them, but mashed potatoes are delicious. Bad Rasta, what's up? I like this one lurker. Oh, multiple lurker eggs morphing up here. That lurker egg. Oh, the lurker finished. Oh, no. 37 kill lurker. Ah. Okay. That lurker is the end of, end of noob here. 38 kills to his name. Absolutely shutting down all of the income. Uh, meanwhile, OBS is being attacked by an enemy Zerg player and having a pretty bad time of it. Finish him. Yeah, where are, your, where are your overlords? They're an open source Warcraft 2. What do you mean by open source? I do love potatoes. Potatoes are one of my favorite things. They really are. Maybe I'll get potatoes from somewhere for dinner today. Where can I go that has good potatoes for pickup? Not KFC. Their mashed potatoes are garbage. Are these, uh... Alright. These are... Kaimops overlords. So kind of holding a little bit here is OBS. He's at 46 drones, which is good. My favorite non-Blizzard game. Uh... Boy. I've played a lot in my day. I really love Half-Life. I really, really enjoyed playing The Witcher 3. I really, really like The Last of Us. Uh... <laughs> What's up, selling birdies? I don't usually like having the camera up when I'm commentating because it's just a little distracting like this. See what I'm doing here? Camera up while I'm commentating. I don't know, I've asked people. And they've said it's a little distracting to have me down here doing stuff. While also casting a game. So, I mean, it's here. I do throw it up between games, selling birdie. That's true. Can't pick my nose if I have the camera on. Legitimate argument. But Obs is down to four drones. The attack finally came in. The storms did some work here, I have to assume. Although none of these Templar have any kills at all, so maybe not. Don't touch your face. Exactly. Bad idea. A billion tanks just showed up at Noob's base. The Mutas got all those kills. Did they? Six kills, five kills, five kills, three kills. Maybe. Might be enough. The face is lava. Got this one Goliath down here to deal with any mutas that come out. Where are you? You usually have an escape plan, Oleg. Is this you down here? It is you down here. Alright. 
Muta's coming to try to save the day. Ever cast a professional live match? No, Roland, I haven't. I do cast live StarCraft 2 matches, though, out on Africa TV. But I haven't been able to cast any live Pro Brood War matches, unfortunately. I'd love to one day. I'm trying to make it happen. It's kind of hard to crack into that, it turns out. Now, we're going to do a Phantom Mode for sure, Mike. And port left. Wait, what? Why did port... What happened to port? And OBS left. Okay. Alright. Uh, maybe he just left because he had lost two of his teammates and he figured he was overwhelmed and done. Fair enough. Aw, oh, thank you, Roland. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's the trick. I'm, I guess if I moved to Korea, I could probably do it, but I can't move to Korea. Yeah, I literally, literally cannot move to Korea, it turns out, so. That's a problem. Dead will move to Korea, though. That sounds fantastic. That would be good for your career, Dead. Alright, tell you what. We'll do one more. One more replay, and then we'll move on into playing stuff. So if anybody has something they want me to cast, speak now, or forever hold your peace. What do we have? Is anybody here that has a replay they want me to cast? Oh, 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 oh. There's a dead here. There's a dead replay. Dead. You want me to cast yours? Did you only send me one? Do we have more from dead? Wendy sells baked potatoes. That's true. Uh, it's in the description, selling birdies, how to send me a replay. But basically, just falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Brood War will do. Alright, we'll do a dead replay to wrap this thing up. Want me to cast while playing? Uh, that's... Nope. I'm not good enough for that, unfortunately. There are people that can do that. I am not one of them. That is way too hard. Way too difficult. All right, so this is going to be a dead infested replay. Top left-hand corner. We have the green Protoss player, Ivan. His teammate on the other side is Pharmacopia. And then their other teammate is Korra. Team 2 is going to be represented by the Protoss player, Vabora. Brax98. And Ed, 56. Yeah, that poor Zerg is as good as dead, isn't he? Cannon rushing up north. Do I cast public replays on Sundays? Uh, yeah, that's what this is. It's always Sunday. It's always today, selling birdies. And usually around this time, too. So I have some defensive cannons that should be enough to hold here, if I had to guess. Rush is pretty well held here, if I had to say what's going on. Uh, Zealots coming in from dead, though. Pharmacopia. 
Trying to focus down this Nexus. I don't think he's going to get it. Yeah, sounds good selling birdies. Please do. All right, here's how this is going to work from now on. If you send me a replay... For the next stream, and I get it by Thursday, then it will be screened and possibly cast for the next week. Thursday is going to be the cutoff for next week. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. This one zealot. Trying to hold against the Onslaught. Reinforcing units are coming in here from Ivan. Meanwhile, former Copio is trying to get something done over there on the right side. Mutas do come in to assist immensely. No, no, no. If you send it on Friday or Saturday or Sunday, it'll be the week after that. That they'll be considered. Uh, I get around 15 replays a week for this. It's a lot. It used to be like 4 or 5, and that was a lot easier to handle. And yeah, if you want to describe the replay, that sounds great too. Yeah, Dead's not really participating other than that one attempt at a snipe. He is getting attacked by a million zealots though. Are there any sneaky twofers coming up? If I told you about the sneaky twofers, they wouldn't be sneaky twofers. Would they, Matt Perkins? No, it doesn't have to be money maps. It could be anything you want in Brood War, selling birdies. Muta's actually going after Dragoons here. Pretty, I think they could have won that fight, to be honest with you. Maybe he's going to make some Guardians. That sure seems like a hive, and it certainly is. That is a Pharmacopoeia. Is that how you say that? Pharmacopoeia. Yeah, Dead's APM is actually dead impressive. Haha! <laughs> What's up, Nicolai? Welcome to the stream. What up, Marcus Strindland? Happy to have you here, too. Hit that like button if you're enjoying the stream today. It is abject chaos here in the middle of the map. We got Lings. We got, uh, there we go. Lings against the Dragoons. Pretty good. You can see this. The Mutas needed to engage with the Lings there, especially. I like this Mutalisk player. Nobody's really countering him, I don't think. No Warner. I didn't, what? Puns? Goodness. Puns from Falcon. That, I, that doesn't make any sense at all. I like the Sim City here. That's pretty good, too. Going for that Fleet Beacon. Going for that Stasis on those Arbiters. Yep, that's your game right there. Falcon said Abject Chaos. He's making some Guardians here to try to save the day. This attack is pretty dangerous. Oh, my gosh. And the Reaver drops. No! Oh! Vibora down to 12 probes. Ten probes and all is said and done. Oh, there are... <laughs> there are Corsairs. And the Zerg player leaves. Because all his Mutas died? Where is your cannon rush now, says Ivan. <laughs> yeah, these Corsairs are doing some work. Yeah, these Dragoons are doing some serious work there for sure. I am un... Did the Zerg player get dropped? I don't know why he left. But it's three to one now. Mucho importante trabajo. Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe the Corsair showed up and started wiping out his guardians and he was like, crap, I don't have anything to stop that from happening. 
Yep, that's got himself some carriers working on uh, 134 supply. Ah, oh, defensive matrix being tossed up. Very nice. Yeah, and Ed's out. That is so many carriers. All right, GG, nicely done. Dead staying alive, not dying. I'm getting them carriers out. My chair keeps sinking. I need to fix it. Hey, what's up, Jack? Hooray, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the compliments. I'm gonna keep going for sure. Boop. Alright, multiplayer time. Phantom mode it is. US West. Gonna go get a drink, but I'll create the game. You guys fill it up and I'll be right back. Uh, Falcon. Paladin. A private game. Password sock as always. Why am I not saving my settings? Whatever. Downloads. Phantom. And use map settings, and unit limits extended, and speed fastest, and I'll be right back.
Okay, holy smokes. Let's do this thing. Ugh, we're gonna open OBS real quick. We'll get two of them. Wait, wait, wait. We have craft and Hasu in here? No. <laughs> we just... <laughs> what is happening? You guys are crazy people. You can't join, Oleg? Why the heck? Why is my light not working? Up. More brightness. Better? Better. Better. Hmm. Strange. So it's getting brighter outside. The password is sock. Well, now. Uh, I think OBS can see who the Phantom is, Lachlan, yeah. Is Pierre craft dinner? What is happening right now? All right, whatever. We're full, full. Let's do this thing. This is going to be the chattiest match of all time. All right, we're doing the Oleg strategy today, where we're going to let everybody live, and then once somebody is clearly the Phantom, we kill them. I don't know how this is going to work out. What's up, Micah Stedman? Uh, you're welcome, selling birdies. There are other channels out there. Mm, who needs detection? You could use detection. No killing. Uh, no killing. For a while. <laughs> I don't know, man. Brown is the phantom. Uh, it's a little too late for that, Jack, unfortunately. A little bit of lag here, to be sure, to be sure. To be sure, to be sure. Who is the Phantom today? Uh, I don't know what was wrong, Oleg. It's definitely Sock. Don't know what to tell you. Yes. Oh, good. We have an uwu falcon uwu in here. Fantastic. Just what we need. Yeah, Jack. You can join for another one. No problem. <sighs> Deluxe craft map. Great name. Canada. Hey, what's up, Yale on? Thank you so much. Appreciate you enjoying the content. That's who I do it for, is for you people. Hit that like button if you're enjoying the stream here. <laughs> Who's orange? Ah, dead. Nice try. Uh, this cast is not going to be all day. I do have some casting I need to do for the channel later, and I do need to get some food at some point. You're a you uh -uh guy? Fantastic. Glad to hear it. Uh, U.S. West, Jack. Seems to be the most busy server outside of Korea. The Korea server is busy and the U.S. West server is busy. I imagine EU might be busy when it's daytime for EU, but I don't know.
craft supper. Calling himself out. Busy in the evenings, okay. Yeah, you must be on the east coast then, Jack. I mean, yeah. defense argument there. This lag, though, is lagging. This lag is lag. Do I think Day9 is gay? Uh, hmm. Never really considered a sexuality. I don't know that it matters. I don't remember if he's ever talked about it. He's dated women before, right? Seem to remember him telling stories about doing that. He's going for a hive. He's got a bunch of macro hatches. Day 9 is gay for you, Pierre. Sure, why not? Could be a handsome man. Hey, you're welcome, Will March. Some bases are busted that way, Craft. They would use that one. Interesting. They're not, though. Can you watch this live on SC1? Uh, no. Unless you join the game as an observer. You cannot. Yeah, like I just said, Kyle. Yeah, pre-order skin, fire hatchery, it makes the Nexus and the command center look different too. Want to see what other people are doing? Oh, we just lagged out. So this is yellow. Not really worried about yellow. Not really worried about teal. Or white. Carrier production on the way here. From bottom left. <laughs> hey! I'm just saying what I'm not worried about. I'm not trying to make it personal. I don't know who anybody is here, honestly. You can talk. Don't 
carriers from yeah carriers from one base is a little bit suspicious here cybob could be our guy you guys I like this. I like this detective work. Well, that's the problem. Who are the noobs, right? Hard to know. It's not no rush, but in the past, we've killed each other, and then that makes it easier for the Phantom to kill everybody else. An alternative left the game. Oh, he was observing. Okay. That's all right. Renji! Somebody attacking? Who are we attacking? We're going after Red? Uh, alright. Some decisions have been made. I guess. You click the handshake icon on the left side. That's how you unally. It's the B.A. Emmer. Well, red and white made a decision. I don't know what's going on here. This is some weird stuff you guys are doing. very obvious since the beginning, he says. Well, all right then. Now I feel dumb. Don't like feeling dumb, but sometimes that happens. What's up, Carrie Chow? A lot more people? I don't think so. I don't think we've had a lot more people since the virus started. I've had 180, 200 people watching the stream before that all began, so... I would argue no. <laughs> Teal has air. <laughs> stuff there. Teal has air. Get him. Hilarious. I think it's blue. Oh. I think it's blue? Alright. It's blue. Let's get blue. Blue or allied. 
And yellow? <laughs> sure, why not? I figured you guys would come in here and just fuck up the game. I appreciate it. Da -da 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 -da, like you always do. Da -da. Unally white, blue, and yellow, please. They're working together in a game that's not supposed to work that way, but again, that's how they roll. Our forces are under attack. Why am I not surprised? a real one. Oh, was that you, Lachlan? How do I unban you is the question now. Is there a way to unban? How does that work exactly? I don't know how banning works here, to be honest with you. Phantom. And then three people just decided to ally for kicks. Fantastic. Sounds about right, honestly, for them. I play, says Ryan Goodwing. Uh, I don't know. All right, whatever, we're going. It's time. Uh, yeah, that's about right, Lachlan. And then I banned you. Because I was ban happy. So what is, okay, what does banning mean? Does it ban him from that particular match? Does it ban him from all future matches that I create? What is it? Just the match? Okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. Oh, Hanex is here this time. He made it in. Gonna 
guess it's teal. All right, I can guess it's teal. I got the same spawn location. Not the exact same spawn location. Huh. Crazy. Hey, Wraith, what's up? Uh, no. You didn't miss the shenanigans, that's for sure. We don't have any detective abilities other than just looking. We can see what everybody's doing. So that's the only trick, antithesis. Yeah, if I'm the Phantom, we just start over. Unfortunate, but it's the reality. No, everybody gets full shared vision antithesis. Everybody does with everybody. It starts you off with shared vision and allied across the map. You can unally and unvision, but that's really suspicious, and then people will kill you. Silly Wraith, pretending like he doesn't know what's going on. You are funny. You're a funny guy. Uh, I don't want to do a Helms today, but I'll s if someone else wants to set one up, they absolutely can. I think we'd probably get enough people to participate. We've got 156 watchers right now. There are no detectives. Hanix just called himself a detective. Everybody can see everybody. See you, Wraith. Sounds good, man. Yeah, last week was 40 viewers because I think YouTube failed to send out the notification that I was streaming. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah, this is going to be my last game, but we will we can set some other stuff up you guys can play. G is fighting. Yeah, that's a rough spawning place there. Yeah, so it wasn't just me. So that's good to know. All right, Jack, we'll do one more and we'll make sure you get in there, Jack. You have been patient, sort of. Deal. 
cast my replays from 10 years ago. I could do that. As long as they launch in the modern client, absolutely. Oh no, Red's fighting against Steel. What is happening? He took my gas. Yeah, there's definitely quarreling here. The Phantom gets more resources than anybody else by a lot. That's the trick. has mass starport who wait what <laughs> yeah i'm purple i'm like wait what yeah listen to charles please watch your replay in your own starcraft before you send it to me because if it's broken it's just kind of a waste of time for everybody it really is a waste of the time for everybody Game is Phantom Mode, Jack. Orange is at 84 supply. He's going, it looks like he's going Mass Wraith. Is that RJB? Son of a biscuit. RJB is really quiet. Another cheese compilation would be fun. Um, let's see if uh, Squeal of Fortune is up for screening another bunch. Alright. I'm feeling safe. Maybe that's the wrong thing to be feeling, but I'm feeling it. Squeal sounds good. Uh, do you need me to send you another pack, or can you work from what I sent you last time? Oh. 
It's orange. Orange is going for it. I think it's RJB. Everybody unally orange. Defended yourself nothing. No, that was aggression. Alright, so Squeal has enough. Awesome. Wow, not anymore. <laughs> it's incredible and stupid. claims that they're being attacked. This is so hard. kind of blocking this choke here with our guys, aren't we? Kind of, yeah. We are. He's still going the Mass Wraith, and he still is taking the center. Blue's going Valkyries. Jack, you can't join this game. It's already in progress. Yeah, I'm doing what I'm doing. I believe in my strategy. Nowhere else for them to go, Renji. I promise. Check white. White has tanks, Goliaths, four armories, which is totally fun. Hmm, that's kind of sneaky. Yeah, white. With those four armories is pretty suspicious. And he's got dropships? It's true, he does have dropships. Wait, does he have battle cruisers? I don't see any BCs. I mean, he's got the tech for. No, it doesn't have a. 
doesn't have the science vessel add on. This is going to be nuts. Whoever it is. Amendment. I'm very proud of it. But it can't be me. Because everybody would know. This game mode, Ronnie, is about one person is a phantom, which means they get a lot more resources than anybody else. And... Everybody's allied at the start, and you have to kill the phantom, and nobody knows who it is. You just have to see who is suspicious, and then kill them. And the game doesn't end until the phantom dies or wins by killing everybody else, or whatever. Everybody else kills everybody else. Spawn more overlords. Get in there, friendos. Yeah, white got drop ships. Yellow! 206. I mean, 205 here, so I am. Whoever. Hoping to make drops. I'm basically maxed out. Yeah, there's always a password, Jack. The password is always suck. I swear, if it's RJB, I'm going to be mad. What's the StarCraft 2 Phantom mode? Yeah, we're gonna mine this map out. Yeah, I'm here, I'm alive. One got stuck? What do you mean, one got stuck? Oh, this Ultralisk. Oh no, he's getting out! Look at him go! Look at him go! Whee! <laughs> no, 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 no! You can do it! Ah, he didn't do it. That's a bummer. He was almost going to glitch out there. That was super cool for a minute. RJB turrets are OP. Wait, who's attacking us? What was that? Yes, of course I have full upgrades. We're freaking 20 minutes into the game. You better have full upgrades. You guys, I can't be the Phantom because I am on the stream and people would see. And I don't have a giant bank. I have 2,000 minerals in the bank and I've been maxed out for like three minutes. If I was the Phantom, I would have like 20,000 minerals. That's how this works. I don't know who it is. Every time I go on these witch hunts, I always choose the wrong people, and I feel bad. Matthew thinks it's white. Red's suspicious. I like how the center is kind of a red and orange setup here. So basically, it's going to come down to Phantom's going to attack. I think that's how this works.
Everybody says it's white. <laughs> this is crazy pants. <sighs> Does Terran have nukes? Uh... Covert Ops is up for white, but I don't see a nuclear silo anywhere. I don't think anybody has nukes. I got some extra hatches. OJ got extra minerals? Why does OJ have extra minerals? Right, right, right. He has the middle base. If he was the Phantom, would he worry about it? Also, the Phantom can't go Mass Wraith. That seems stupid. Right? Would the Phantom go Mass Wraith? There's no way Mass Wraith wins. Six Stargates and Carrier Production from Brown. <laughs> oh, this is so intense. This is so intense. Ugh. What was that? You must kill him to know. Nobody else has max upgrades. You're right. Hmm. I'm honestly surprised by that. Oh, 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 you guys are done, huh? La 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 la. La, la, la. <coughs> oh, ah, excuse me. Sorry. Tried to get to the mute. Couldn't get there in time. Goodness. Who's firing on who? Somebody's hitting something. I want the map to be mined out. I think that's hilarious. Is somebody attacking somebody? White's kind of prepared, I guess. Oh, prepared after Falcon? He is the mightiest. Yeah, this is Phantom, not Tenix. <laughs> I don't know! Mining this out. We're mining this out. La 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 la. More hatcheries in case we need them. Yeah, the mini map is just packed. There is not much empty space here. Yeah, but RJB hasn't even upgraded his tanks. I guess he's got 1-1 one, one now. Uh, once it's mined out, we're just going to pick somebody and go. It's a better game when people play it properly. Like this? Yeah. Agreed. Ooh, we got a Dark Archon out. That's exciting. I haven't seen one of these in a multiplayer game that I've been in, at least. Very, very fun. Don't kill the Dark Archon. He's just peacefully hanging out. Hmm. 
white. Still making stuff. Blue's cruising out to drop on someone. Blue. What are you doing, Blue? What are you doing, though? Well, I don't know why you need dropships out on the map, Blue. Unless you're going after Orange. You have this personal vendetta against Orange. Which, maybe you do. Ah, he is. He's trying to drop in here on Orange. Alright. Well, 1v1 here. There weren't enough. There weren't enough Valkyries, and RJB holds it. He holds the attack. <laughs> Horn alternative. What color is this Dark Archon anyway? Red? Yeah, it's red. Is he stealing workers, maybe? Wiping out blue here. That poor drone is spazzing out. Look at him spaz. The alternative has left the game. Killed the Dark Archon. <laughs> now, we don't want anybody to uh, get the wrong idea here. Who's the most quiet? Uh, probably it's your boy, Daryl. Hey, what's up, Daryl? to do? Everyone's just attacking everybody else all of a sudden. happening. That's very cool. I swear, if it's RJB, I'm going to be so mad. I will be so mad if it's RJB. How is it teal? How is it possibly teal? Doesn't it have full upgrades? Money's on white.
yellow's killing red now for some reason. Oh, brown's going after red. Drone fight! Who's gonna win? I think it's brown or yellow. Nothing would be worse if panics if the Phantom and wins. <laughs> hey, we got a winner. Do we just kill Teal because... because? Renji? Yes? No? <laughs> I don't know! I hate this. I really hate this. I'll bet you $100 it's Teal. Alright, I'll take that bet. Sounds good, Blight. That's the choke. Goodness gracious, that's the choke. Our forces are under attack. I don't have much gas left. Look, someone has to die, and I don't know who it is. No idea at all. Our forces are under attack. Someone has to die, RNG. Sorry, man. It's nothing personal. Yippee ki yay, mother <laughs> <laughs> Innocence like teal, huh, Antithesis? Innocence, eh? That's hilarious. Yep, there's them resources we were talking about. That's funny. Uh, if you're observing, it doesn't count, though, Blight. Dun, 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 dun. Happy trigger. Renji, you play a good, uh, innocent person. You gotta watch out for you in the future, man. Dun, 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 dun. Who told you it was teal? An observer told you it was teal? Lame. Observers! Should we not have observers anymore if you guys are going to be stupid about it? <laughs> RJB and alternatives little feud was pretty entertaining stuff. 
Hey, what's up, food stamp champ? Dude, 221 people watching. Good grief. Okay, but based on what, Blight? What information did you have that you thought it was Renji? What? Other than an observer told you or you were an observer. Come on. There's no way. He didn't do anything. No one else did anything either. There were plenty of players who did nothing. Yeah, 215 viewers. Not bad. Wraith, your buddies ruined my game. You're not doing anything with us. I'm sorry. You stole my gas. Ah, guys are great. All right, let's um, let's just do a fastest. Uh, not Styler though. I don't want Styler. What do I want? I don't want Styler. Yeah, I do want Styler. FM. What's your username, Jack, in StarCraft? What's up, Frozzy? Oh, I've got some Vietnamese in here. Four v four. Let's go. <laughs> Red Buttman. Jack Rummy. Get in here, Jack. I'm giving you a space. Sorry, somebody who's in here. Last person. We might have to kick somebody out for Jack here, because I promised he can play. So, in other words, it's entirely full. So... Sorry, base. You were here last. Nothing personal. Jack, Falcon Paladin. You were last. You're out too. No pen, please. You guys, we're full. Yeah, it's ending friendly. No, Lawrence. Sorry. If somebody wants to start another match, call it Falcon Paladin something. You guys can do it. Come on, Jack. You got two minutes to get in here. US West, I'm looking for a Jack Rummy to show up. If Jack Rummy shows up, we'll get him in. If not, we're just gonna go. Switch me and Ryan. Switch with... I think you guys have to switch. Or you just click on an observer, can I? Yeah, do that. It's called uh, FME Falcon Paladin. Just search Falcon, Jack. The away team is stacked. Uh, nah. No way. We have Can I Play Please. He's going to carry. Come on, Jack, let's go, let's go. Oh, we're not doing Mutalisk Dozen. Sorry, nope. Do, 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 do. Not today. US West, Ivan. No, Jack, you don't. What's up, Richard? Jack. Found it, but I can't join. The password is sock. Because I'm trying to leave spaces open for Jack. It's not full, Jack. There's an open slot right here, buddy. Ah, uh, not anymore. Cool. 
Get the Not right now, no. What's up, Andre? Alright, Jack, you have 60 seconds to figure this out. Timer set for 60 seconds. It's not working. Okay, well, I cannot wait for this to be figured out, Jack. I apologize. We'll get you next time, dude. Alright, let's go. It's time. It is time for a fastest map, or can I play please is going to carry us against Dead Hanix, Ryan Goodwing, and Amendment. Who <sighs> needs detection? You can use detection. Hey, Gabriel from Romania, welcome. Food stamp champ. It's a little, uh, a little up. A little amped today. Sorry, Jack. We'll get you next time. We do this every week. No need to stress. Not at all. Promise. Everything will be okay in the end. At least nobody's isolated. That's nice. What's up, Blitzgob? What's up, Florent? That's true. Society could be entirely shut down. That would be bad. I hope that doesn't happen. This is a fastest, Lachlan. Oh, somebody want Yeah, Lachlan will set up a game for everybody who didn't get into this one but wanted to. How about that? Set it up on US West. He'll call it Falcon Paladin something. And you guys can get in there. I think there's enough people that want to play. But they can jump in. Banda Sky, what's up? From Romania. I'm glad you're happy. I only got three guys on that gas. I feel like I did. Yeah, sounds good, Blitzgob. Oh, you watched all my videos? Really? That's a lot of videos. I believe you, but that's impressive. If that is the case. Alright, Lachlan. Got a game set up. Go join it. My stream time is going to be somewhere between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock Eastern time on Sunday. Somewhere in there. You can come to this page that you're on right now. And uh, there will be a countdown to when the next stream is most of the time. Oh boy, someone's in trouble. Zealot attacks are coming. That's a fair point, Matt. I do have a Patreon. I'm 
also on Twitter and on Facebook. And Twitch. On all of these places and pretty active. Alright. Cool skitsy. I've worked retail before. I know how that is. if I was getting cannon rush and just completely oblivious to it. Thanks, Lavanda. Enemy Overlord sure is. I keep thinking I'm up there. My brain is all sorts of confused. Uh, my streaming hours are Tuesdays and Fridays. Starting at about 7 p.m. Oh, there are cannons here. I thought I heard cannons. Let me guess. Is that hat? Uh, oh, that's dead. Interesting. All right. doing. Stop being stupid. Let's go. Alright, we should be fine with this. What if Falcon gave all of us his money? Hmm. That is an excellent question. What if... For some reason, that's a spore. I don't know why. Alright, so we should be fine. I'm not worried about us at all here. I mean, sure. We'll kill him, I guess. a 
a spirit bomb. Stream's been running for three hours and four minutes, DC. particularly well right now, but I think we'll be okay. Random idle drones over here for some reason. Hey guys, what are you up to? Yeah, go to US West. If you guys want to play with other Falcon fans and you couldn't get into this one, go to US West. There's a game happening right now. Did somebody leave? Oh no, they're just friendly. Okay, hey guys, what's up? Friendly left the game. What happened to Friendly? Did he get dropped? Uh oh. I don't like this at all. Our forces are under attack. Get out of here, Corsairs. No one likes your action. What happened to dead? What happened to Renji? Oh, he was OBS. Okay. He dropped him. Ah, that'll do. For more, huh? Interesting, I guess. That's Archon, huh? Interesting, I guess. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's get those upgrades continuing. Some DTs somewhere, but I don't see them. Our forces are under attack. <laughs> see you, Dad. Good practice. 
You guys, you can join RJB's game that he's talking about right now. This one's not going to be over for a bit, I don't think. Ooh, I do love the concept. Oh, that's a terrible, terrible drop. That was mean. Woo! Our forces are under attack. Nice. Some people are new. Some people aren't as good as other people. For craft dinner. Classic. still here? Is anybody still here? Is Pink still here? Go Rogue and Team Kill. Nah. No one's Team Killing today. The Hive Cluster is under attack. Purple has carriers? still alive. Maybe. There's like, oh, like one interceptor left. Uh, Jack! Are you a troll? There we go. That's my question for you, Jack. Are you a troll? Alright. Good stuff, man. Ended up I... Did I win? I won. Woohoo! Produced the most... Didn't kill the most. Can I pay police? Did great with that. Resources. Not the most either there, but somehow I got the highest score. Uh, I've gone mass muta before. I've done it. I've sniped somebody's command center with a mass muta bomb. And I always play Zerg, Florent. Yeah, that's my, that's my jam. All right. Well, I got to go. It has been really fun, you guys. I really appreciate all the support and the super chats and the joins and the... What did we get today? Gabriel with a super chat. We had Ruludos with a couple super chats. Cosplaying there. Matt Perkins super chat. And then Paulo became a new member today. So appreciate all of that and everybody who did all those things. Love you all. Except for the people that ruined our Phantom game. Sometimes that happens though. You just got to move on. And until next Sunday, again, bookmark this page. Come to it like on Saturday and see what time I have it scheduled for for the next day. And you'll know exactly when it is. You can show up on time. You will be super cool. All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks, FBI agent. Lorenzo, can I play, please? No alternative. Antithesis and Joseph for the last people here. Take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. <laughs>